Hi, I'm Jack Jakisevich from Glengarry Wines. My family is very passionate about wines, of course, but um, also beers and spirits. And here today, I've got a wonderful new little beer to show you. Now, craft beers, as we all know, is taking off. It's really exciting tasting all these wonderful new beers. And we're really rapt to have this very famous Adnams beers from the UK. The site where the brewery is is first known to have brewed back there in 1345. It's hard to put your head around that one. The records show that George and Ernest Adnams started brewing there and, and purchased that brewery in 1870. And another 10 years later, in 1880, they registered the company, Adnams Brewing Company. And they're still going strong today. Um, they have a, a chain of pubs over there and a massive modern brewery, including a um, brand new carbon neutral certified brewery only built last year. So here we have some of their fine product. They're very well known around the world. It's quite a lot to get your head around, so I'll try and give you a few pointers here to try and remember them. We'll start off with the Gunhill. This is their cross between a, a, a dark beer and a brown bitter beer. So it's a, a very full, dark beer, but not too dark, not too heavy. So that's the little Gunhill, a full flavoured beer. That's about a 4% alcohol. And here's their, their classic, the Southwold Bitter. They hail from Southwold, and this is their, their lovely copper-coloured bitter beer. And moving on, we have this Ghost Chip beer. Now this is a very, very interesting little take. They've named this one after some of the most haunted pubs in the most haunted village that they found. Um, and it's got a very, very citrusy flavour from the American hops used in this one. So it's a very inter interesting light little beer. And for those that like a, a wheat flavoured beer, we have the Admins Explorer. And here we have a, a lighter blonde style of beer, which is, has a little bit of wheat in there as well as the traditional malted barleys. And one of the most commonly known, or one of the most famous of the Admins beers is the Broadside. Now this one is a gold medal winning beer. In fact, it's not the only gold medal winning beer. I've probably picked up a few medals here, but the, the bitter is very renowned for gold medal winning as well. So the Edmunds Broadside, what's it all about? This is a red ale. It's rich and fruity. It's got some very, very um, malty fruitcake flavours in there. It's a very, very serious beer, very, very enjoyable. One I've really enjoyed myself. It's a 6.3%. Um, this style of beer needs a little bit more um, alcohol in there to carry it through. So the Broadside, and you can see the beautiful little ship on there um, up close. Um, it will help you recognise that one, look out for that one. If you want to try one of these for a, an initial taste, that's the one to start with. And right on the end here, we have the Innovation. Quite a different looking package. And the reason why it's called an Innovation, this beer is a take on the American Pale Ale style. So here we have a lot of hoppiness and bitterness coming through. They've also thrown in a little bit of wheat to add a little bit of complexity. That gives it a very tropical, almost um, aromatic sort of flavours coming through. Um, it's not to be uh, taken lightly. It's a 6.7% alcohol beer. Very, very good. It was one of my favourites when I first tried them, but um, I think I've moved more towards this one now. So the innovation, it's an APA style, American Pale Ale style. So well worth trying. Our team loves selling craft beers. It's very, very interesting seeing all the different flavours and styles that are coming through. You can grab one or two, try one here and there, find your favourite, have a chat to the team about which ones you like and they might find another one that's similar. They go exceptionally well with foods and with dinner. That's an exciting thing about craft beers that people are finding. So, so experiment with them. You know, the rich, full broadsides with your bangers and mash. A nice little APA here, maybe to add as an appetizer at the beginning of the meal. But it's a whole new world of craft beers that we're exploring. So come in and enjoy some lovely craft beers at Glengarry's. Thank you.